Hello, this is Solving Systems of Equations by Graphing, Example 1. A system, of equation a system of equations has at least two equations, and um, sometimes it's called uh, two equations and two unknowns because there's two equations, and the two unknowns are the two variables, x and y. And uh, this solution is by graphing. Uh, we've been graphing these types of equations for quite a while, and this graphs to a straight line, and this graphs to a straight line. And where the two lines intersect, if they do, that's the solution. So uh, you should know how to graph these lines. You can do it by slope intercept, or you can get two intercepts, uh, or you could do it uh, by creating a table of values. But uh, anyway, when you do graph these two equations, this is what they look like. Uh, this red line is x plus 2y equals 7. The other red line is 3x minus 2y equals 5. And their solution is right where they intersect. And if you look at that point, you can see the x value is positive 3. The y value up and down is positive 2. So this solution is 3 comma 2. Graphing is always an approximation. You don't know if that's exactly 3 and that's exactly 2. It might be 3.0001, or the 2 might be 1.9999. So with graphing solutions, we usually check them, just to be sure. I've set these equations up for substitution. Uh, this is the first equation with empty parentheses for the x and y. I can put the 3 in here for the x and the 2 in there for the y. And this becomes 3 plus 4 equals 7. And you can see that that checks. Similarly, in the second equation, I'll put a 3 here for the x and a 2 here for the y. And uh, this becomes 9 minus 4 equals 5. And you can see that that checks. So solving these two equations and two unknowns by graphing, I've shown that it's 3 comma 2.